Checking and understanding airspace around your site before heading out to the field is an important step for flying your drone. To maintain a safe legal operation, not only do you need to consider nearby air traffic, you will also need to know how to unlock different airspace to fly in. This training module will cover the best practices used to check for airspace restrictions near your site using both DJI FlySafe and AirMap. Next, we'll review how to unlock airspace through the DJI FlySafe portal to unlock different airspace. This is a two-part process that requires you to get approval from DJI, the hardware manufacturer, and in some situations, the Federal Aviation Authority, or FAA, the legal side. It's important to note that the workflows we're covering in this module are for the Phantom 4 RTK drone and its usage in the United States. If you're operating outside of the United States, please contact your local aviation authority for guidance or reach out to your customer success engineer for more resources. We are covering a lot of information in this training video. Please check out the supporting documentation or reach out to your customer success engineer if you have questions. Welcome to Propeller U. Let's start with the hardware piece, DJI FlySafe. DJI FlySafe helps to visualize where it's safe to fly and where you need to be cautious with your drone. It also shows when additional information is required to fly in some areas. DJI FlySafe shows a variety of geo zones shown by different colors on the map. Each colored zone marks a different type of airspace restriction based on safety or security areas. This includes jails, airports, forest fires, active stadium events, and more. There are five different geo zones we need to be aware of. Restricted zones, altitude zones, authorization zones, warning zones, and enhanced warning zones. The authorization zones, restricted zones, and altitude zones can be unlocked using DJI FlySafe and AirMap. Warning zones and enhanced warning zones do not require approval to fly there, but you will have to acknowledge the warnings for that area on site before flight. To better understand the role of DJI FlySafe, we can think of what's required to drive a vehicle. You need the car keys to start the engine, but you would also need to have a driver's license to drive a car legally. Similarly, the FAA must give you a license to fly and DJI FlySafe will hand you the key. Before we can get started with DJI FlySafe, you must first complete a one-time setup of your FlySafe portal. Check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com, for detailed instructions that walk you through setting up your portal. Now that you set up your DJI FlySafe portal, let's cover the process of authorization zones and restricted zones. Authorization zones are blue and restricted zones are red. To unlock an authorization zone or restricted zone, you must submit a new unlock request through your DJI FlySafe portal. We recommend you complete this in the office before arriving on your job site, especially if the site lacks internet access. Go to the DJI website and navigate to the FlySafe Unlock page. Ensure you log into the same DJI account as what's on your remote controller. Once logged in, click on New Unlock Request. Review the unlocking request notice, then click Confirm. There are two types of unlocks available. You can either unlock an entire geo zone, whether it's a blue authorization zone or a red restricted zone, or draw a custom area that you would like to unlock. We recommend the zone unlocking option to unlock an entire geo zone. Select the option that you would like to proceed with, then click Confirm. Using the device's drop-down menu, select the type of aircraft you will use to fly your site. In the next box to the right, select your drone. You can select multiple drones if needed. If you haven't added a device yet, the option in the drop-down will be blank. To add a device, click the Add Device link and go through the prompts. For more detailed information, check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com, and search for setting up your DJI FlySafe portal. Next, select the pilot who will fly your site. You can select multiple pilots here as well. 
If you need to add the pilot's information, click on Add Pilot and go through the prompts. We have detailed instructions in our knowledge base if you need more help. Navigate to the area you are flying in, either by searching for the address or moving around the map. If you're doing a zone unlock, then select the zone you wish to fly in by clicking anywhere in the colored region. You can select multiple zones. Note that if you're requesting to fly in a red restricted zone, you will also need to apply an FAA waiver via the FAA Drone Zone website and upload your approved waiver to this unlock request in DJI FlySafe. We will go over how to apply for a waiver later in this video. Select the date range that you would like to fly. The effective period is for the entire 24 hour period of each day selected. Describe the reason for your unlock request. If you have additional documentation, such as an FAA waiver or low altitude authorization and notification capability or Lance authorization, upload those documents here. Lance authorizations are covered later in this video. Click Submit once your details are all correct. Once your unlock has been approved, you will import the unlock certificate to your remote controller and drone. Both the drone and the remote controller will need to be on and connected to Wi-Fi to be able to import your unlock certificate. From the home screen of the controller, tap Fly and then tap the three dots in the top right corner. Scroll down to the bottom of the aircraft settings menu to find the unlock certificate list. Tap Synchronize to fetch the most up-to-date list of unlocks for your controller. Then tap Import Aircraft for the unlock you need. Switch over to the Aircraft tab and tap the toggle to activate the unlock certificate. Your aircraft is now ready for takeoff. If you'd like to draw a custom area for your unlock request, visit our knowledge base for more information on how to complete this request. Besides unlocking your DJI hardware, it might be necessary to receive low altitude authorization and notification capability or Lance authorization from the FAA in order to operate a drone legally in controlled airspace. We will talk about Lance authorization later in this video. If you're trying to operate in a red restricted zone, you will need a waiver from the FAA before submitting your DJI unlock request. Before beginning, make sure you have your drone that is registered with the FAA, your valid Part 107 license, and an FAA Drone Zone account. Go to the FAA Drone Zone webpage and select your Part 107 dashboard. Scroll down to Part 107 Waivers and Authorizations and click Create Part 107 Waiver Authorization. Select Airspace Authorization, then click Start Application. In Step 1, or Acknowledgement, enter the Operation Title and confirm the information for the responsible party is correct. In Step 2, or Operation Parameters, carefully fill in all the information. Check out the Part 107 Operational Waiver Application Instructions from the FAA for more guidance. See our knowledge base for a template of the description of your proposed operation text. If this text box is not filled in correctly, it is likely that you will not receive the waiver in a timely manner, if at all. Complete steps three and four by reviewing the information and confirming the request. It may take some time for the waiver to be granted. This could be anywhere from a week to several months. Once you receive the authorization, you can submit the unlock request from DJI through your FlySafe portal. Finally, we'll cover how to use AirMap for Lance authorization. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, allows Part 107 certified pilots to receive instant authorization to operate drones legally in controlled airspace through the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability, or Lance program. Besides using Lance to receive FAA authorization, you may need to perform a DJI unlock to operate in controlled airspace if it is also an authorization zone or restricted zone. You can submit a request on the AirMap mobile app as well, but today we're going to cover the desktop workflow. Go to the AirMap website. 
Locate your site either by scrolling around the map or entering the location in the Areas of Interest search bar. Click on the plus sign icon to create a new flight plan. Either log in or create a free account. Move the point to the center of your survey area. You can check the advisories by clicking in the triangle icon. Include the following information about your flight. Altitude, date and time, duration, pilot's name, and phone number. Flight context, then click brief flight plan. Confirm the details and then click submit flight plan. In this training module, we went over how to check for airspace restrictions, unlock airspace, get an FAA waiver and Lance authorization using DJI Fly Safe, FAA drone zone and air map. Thanks for watching. To learn more, you can read the supporting materials associated with this module or check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.